I've been getting hammered with emails on this visible wireless internet. Okay, stay tuned. I'm going to give you an update that you're not going to want to miss then. Back. Uh, guys, what I'm going to do today is I didn't want to do it before, but I've been getting so many people that are requesting it. And I just. What is it? Okay, it's going to be like the AT&T thing where you're going to use the Wi-Fi router. Okay, I'm going to go over this with you. What is this? A lot of people don't know what this is, so I'm going to I'm going to do this so the anybody can come in and learn. I've been testing the visible wireless now for a while, and I'm running just about 250 to 300 gigs on it. Yeah, uh, I did it with the file hub like I showed in my other video, which is a very inexpensive way to get into this. So, but I'm going to show you now the higher end. I'm reluctant to show you this because I did it on the Nighthawk M1 and they canceled my account three times. Okay, so this is a risky take. Uh, it's, but so far on the account for this MoFi. I have not had it canceled yet. Okay. Uh, not that it will be or won't be. It just that for some reason they have seen <laughs> they have seen the light. They have seen uh, and actually told me that I was running it in a router when they uh, canceled it. So I've been running it on my MoFi and I have not had a problem, have not had a hiccup. It has been performing flawlessly. So I'm going to go ahead and put this video out about the MoFi and visible wireless. I know there's others out there, but I don't know. Maybe they don't have the same connections or the same things that I put in the MoFi. So let me go over real quick what a MoFi router is. This is an enterprise class router. These antennas pick up and these antennas shoot out and pick up your uh, indoor. This is for bringing in the signal. This is for the indoor signal. Real quick. Now this has, as you can see, it has a, uh, where you can put an actual SD card right there and you can use that you have a usb mount here and you can use it as a file server um you know print server uh it just works right here is where you put your sim card r45 jacks for like your tv box your uh, cloud server what have you but those are for that this is a you won't be using this one uh and then your power then you have a reset here now this is a metal case you can put this anywhere i suggest putting it i run it right next on my on my tv stand i don't need to put it in the i'm rural and it picks up the signal fine but you can put this in a window you can put it somewhere where it's line of sight you can put it uh, you know just not outside of course but wherever you go around and you check for the best signal on your phone and so forth and that's where you want to put this it'll just help um but a lot of times with the TV box, you want to hook up the TV box direct for better signal and less disruptions, you know, Wi-Fi stuff. With this being an enterprise class router, you don't need to actually hook it straight up. You can just use the Wi-Fi on it. And if you're having a problem in a different room, just get a repeater. So there's people out there showing you one of these that are not built by MoFi. They don't have the same components, even though they say they do, they do not. I have purchased them, I have looked at them, and I've seen what is in those ripoffs. It is not that. Buy this, buy it once, and you'll never have to worry about it again. Just telling you the straight up here. Um, I don't like people that use knockoffs. Uh, if they do work, that's, it's not going to last like this one will. So. I figure buy it once, that's all you're going to need. And this here, they have such a great back-end program and service and support that, you know, why not do this? 
you can't even get a hold of the people that that comes from china from so i tell you what let's go ahead and get on with it we're going to go inside and i'm going to show you on the mofi software what you need to do to get your visible wireless hooked up all right let's go ahead and get this started um it's the mofi 4500 which to me is the best there is okay so you want to go in here i've already set mine up and we're going to go ahead and provide selector at the top. I want you to click on Verizon. Once you do that, you go over and save. Now, if it doesn't reboot automatically, uh, what I want you to do is go ahead and go down to System on your left bottom area. And what I want you to do is click on Reboot. Okay, this is going to take a little time to do this, but I want to do this so it clears everything you have out and it, we do it right. So we're going back into the internal modem. And you want to put this in exactly. This is their uh, access point. Their, uh, this is what's going to get you the service you need. Now, don't worry about, you know, the logins or username and passwords. That'll be entered automatically. Go ahead and click on save. And we're going to go back over to system if it does not reboot automatically. And click on reboot. Okay, once we're done, we're going to come back in and we're going back into the initial. I want you to press here to select phone number and SIM ID. Okay, this is just another part of it. Click on save. And what we're going to do here is, is go ahead and click on your system. And we're going to do it again. <laughs> okay, next let's go to ban and scanner. And let's do a scan for the cell ban. It takes a moment because it has, it really does a good job in finding things and finding the best signals and so forth. And we just need to know which band is going to be the top band that you'll want to use for this. Okay, here we go. Uh, these are the ones that come up in my area the, the best. Uh, so we're going to want to go ahead and remember those. And we're going to go to advanced band lock. We're going to make sure that they're connected, that they are the ones that we want that is going to work for visible wireless, which is like I said, Verizon. Click on save and go to your system again and reboot. Now, once you're all set again, let's go back into the internal modem. Just want to be sure that everything is working correctly. Your phone number, making sure that's right and making sure that your SIM ID is correct. That's the two things you really need to have in there to make sure that you're not getting uh, left over from the previous setup. But yep, it looks it looks good here. Let's see, let's go to speedtest.net and let's do a quick uh, we're going to do a quick uh, speed test uh, to see what our new system is going to do through the Mofi 4500 router. You can see we're looking on the Verizon and we're apparently going over to Kansas not a bad ping rate from what I've been seeing uh, very good download speed like I said this is a rural area okay 19.4 that's not bad I've been kinda getting right in about 26 and this is upload 
which usually uh, I've been getting about nine, so that's not bad there. And that's our speed test. As you can see, it 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 tends to work better through the Mo5 4500B just because of the for one the antennas. Um, it just seems to pick up a better signal. It produces a better quality signal to your computers and so forth. So this might be a way to go and it looks like it's going to work good for $25 a month. As you can see, it's not, you know, people go, well, why do I keep rebooting? I reboot because it clears the system. Okay. Every time you make a move on a system and make sure you do not do this in Google or in Chrome, make sure you do this in like Firefox. But yes, the reason I reboot that many times is because I want to clear it in between each system, each update. There's, trust me on this, it works, okay? And like I said, I have not been messed with. Uh, this has been working really good. But yeah, that's how you set it up on a MoFi. Um, but yeah, this is one of the routers I stand behind 100% great router uh, visible wireless so far at $25 a month has been working really good um, I'm, a, I'm just every time when something you know when something works so good and I didn't want to put this one out but I figured with all the emails and everybody coming in I'm not knocking the Nighthawk don't get me wrong that's a very nice router it's a little more expensive I think but it's a very nice router it works quite well when you do have it uh, sometimes you need the more antenna for it but um, it has its pluses and minuses just like anything but three times different accounts different um, different cards they saw it they canceled it and told me it was because it was in a router I, I don't know what else to tell you on that one so anyways just letting you know this was what you requested so here you go see i do answer the emails and i do do videos on the most requested things so i appreciate it until next time i'll see ya i just want to say thank you for watching the whole video to the end and i want to appreciate everybody that does that uh, if you would, though, if you're not subscribed, hit that little button right here. It will help the channel tremendously. And as always, maybe look at our other videos here and you might get an idea of what you want next on your system. And until next time, I'll see you.